And welcome back to Hannity. Still much more ground to cover from today's presidential press conference. Let's start with his response to Fox News Channel's Ed Henry, who asked the following. You know, I'm going to ask you a question. I know pieces of this story have been litigated and you've been asked about it. But there are people in your own State Department saying they've been blocked from com coming forward, that they survived the terror attack and they want to tell their story. Will you help them come forward and just say it once and for all? Ed, I'm not familiar with this notion that uh, anybody's been blocked from testifying. So uh, what I'll do is I will find out uh, what exactly you're referring to. Uh, what I've been very clear about from the start is that uh, our job with respect to Benghazi has been to find out exactly what happened, to make sure that U.S. embassies, not just in uh, the Middle East but around the world, are safe and secure, uh, and to bring those who carried it out to justice. Uh, but I'll find out uh, what exactly you're referring to. They hired an attorney because they're saying that they've been blocked from coming, uh, coming forward. I'm not familiar with it. Also, are, are we really supposed to believe that the president's clueless to the claim by lawyers of people who worked in the State Department that they were being blocked from telling their story about the Benghazi scandal? Imagine if George Bush tried a stunt like this. The entire White House press corps would uh, probably burst out laughing and sell this as a cover-up to the American people. Here with Reaction, the host of Varney and Company, Stuart Varney, co-host of The Five, Dana Perino. Uh, this is just baloney. Victoria Tunsing. We know D.C. lawyer said that she is being blocked by a, to, in her effort to represent these witnesses to talk freely, even to lawyers. She's gone on record. She said it. And John Kerry even said to move on. Well, she, she's a very serious lawyer with a lot Absolutely. of experience. The fact that they have uh, asked her to represent them to me says there is more to this than a right-wing conspiracy theory. It is serious. It's not going to go away. And I think that Ed Henry was giving them an opportunity today to say, here's where we stand on it, that the president didn't know. And I, I'm going to take him out of his word. I'm going to say that he didn't know. But I think going into a press conference Dana, like that, wait, we Dana, know. Does he read a newspaper? I don't. Maybe Excuse he doesn't. Me. Wait, well, I mean, if George Bush, wait, remember how the press excoriated, what do you read, Governor Palin? She said everything. That wasn't a good enough answer. You're saying the but president doesn't know? I don't I'm saying that. I'm taking him at his word. I do question well, that's sending worse. the president out to the podium to answer press questions from the press corps when that was one of the biggest stories last night and he didn't have anything else to lead with. Mr. I don't Barney, think they put him in a good position. It's just not good enough, is it? I mean, it's no. just not good enough to go out there and say, I'm not familiar with this when it's been breaking news for 24 hours and more yeah. and it's all over Fox and it's all over any important media Drudge outlet. Report. We, we've got this story. Mm -hmm. It's impossible to, for the President of the United States to say, I'm not familiar with it. In fact, throughout the entire press conference, he said virtually nothing. He filled long, it. rambling answers, it was a circular answer that said absolutely nothing positive at all. There was no answer, no direct answer to any question whatsoever. I'm not sure why they had the press conference at all. That's a good question. Because it was, if you have the bully pulpit, you should use it. Bully us. You know, come out with something that was positive. They could have at least said, this is the headline we want to get out of this press conference. Instead, they have a mish mismatch of a lot of things that pretty much aren't By the way, I want to, to, I want to defend you while I have a second before we move on to our next question. You, you did a great interview me? with your former boss, you did. George W. Bush. Mm -hmm. uh, nobody said that this was going to be an objective interview. No. And then you got this, this liberal Howie Kurtz. He has a show, Unreliable Liberal Sources. Mm -hmm. He got demoted and kicked out of the Washington and post at critical of you I mean, I was a little bit surprised by the criticism because I've, I think I've always been really nice nitwit. to Howie. Um, I, I like him very much. I don't like him. Uh, the, I, he's full whole, of crap. He thinks my he's whole a goal. sanctimonious, self-righteous, phony establishment journalist. Okay, were you but, defending so, me or wanting to I'm defending you over him. <laughs> over me? No. no. <laughs> Keep me out of this. No. Look, the two interviews with President Bush that I saw, you great. did one, Brett Baird did one. The pre President Bush answered the questions directly. Yeah, Forthrightly. What a difference between President Bush's performance and President Obama today. Well, I think that there is a difference of sending the president out to do a press conference without any real something to ground him. He's too smart. He doesn't need coaching. I thought they were going to announce something me, on Syria. Well, let me go to the Syria question because he drew a red line in the sand and said, if chemical weapon, that's the red line. Don't cross that. Watch this. <laughs> On Syria, you, you said that the uh, red line was not just about chemical weapons being used, but being spread. And it was a game changer. It seemed cut and dry. And now your administration seems to be suggesting uh, that line is not clear. Do you risk U.S. credibility uh, if you don't take military action? What I said that 
the use of chemical weapons would be a game changer. Uh, that wasn't unique to, that wasn't a position unique to the United States, uh, and it shouldn't have been a surprise. Uh, and what we now have is evidence that chemical weapons have been used inside of Syria, but we don't know how they were used, when they were used, who used them. We don't have a chain of uh, custody that establishes what exactly happened. All right, everybody's I saying... It kind of makes you miss the, uh, you're either with us or you're against us. Big time. Cut and dried. Although I do, um, look, there are no, the president does not have any good options. If they could take back the red line comment, they probably would. However, uh, I also was surprised in the, uh, listening to Joe earlier, uh, questioning whether or not chemical weapons had been used. Let's just say that even that they hadn't, we they have almost used. a million people displaced, 70,000 killed by their own government, and the United States is leading from behind, which means that we're not leading at all. That's a great point. Um, we're not getting enough intel out of the captured terrorist in the hospital in Boston, but the president says we're doing a fine job. The FBI is doing just fine. On Benghazi, he's not heard about it. He's not familiar with this story. In Syria, he doesn't have all the facts, and he's not quite sure what that red line really is. It We've was got Obamacare. Uh, and let's not forget Obamacare, where the implementation, as, as we've all been saying, it is a train wreck. Look. I disagree with the president ideologically. We all know that. Got it. He's a collectivist. I'm not. But I think the president is also incompetent. This administration tries to implement things, and it does a lousy you, job. It tells, our, it tells our allies we will not be there for you, and it tells our enemies that America's weak and does not mean what it says. This is a bad moment. We should, Mark my words. I, I think so, too. I do think that we should try to figure out a way to try to help him get into a better position Yeah. for, for the sake okay. of all of us. He's really going to listen to us. Might. I doubt it. <laughs> uh, good to see you. I'll defend you against Howie Kurtz anytime. Thank you.